Friday is International Beaver Day, so we thought we'd touch base with the Beaver Brothers at Mississippi Aquarium. Hi, and welcome back to the Four O'Clock Show. I'm here with Diana Major, one of the uh, curators here. I love these beavers. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about them. They just arrived. They did. They're uh, brand new here to the aquarium. We're so excited about them. Um, they're three beavers that were orphaned last year, and now they uh, have their forever home with us here at Mississippi Aquarium. Now tell us a little bit about their habitat. It's the North American beaver, and uh, how. what have you created here that kind of makes it natural for them? Yeah, so beavers are found all throughout North America, including here in Mississippi. They build lodges and dams, and we simulated that here in in our habitat so they've got a nice big lodge in the background that they love to cuddle up in you'll see them grab sticks and twigs and leaves and build that that lodge up um, so we've got lots of enrichment lots of natural branches for them to collect and do all the things that beavers do okay well I'm gonna check in with Google here <laughs> do beavers live in South Mississippi well they're a common animal along the Mississippi River mm -hmm. says it right here wait a second the largest rodent in North America Yes, that's true. These guys can get up to 75 pounds. Our boys are only around 35 pounds, but they're going to continue to grow throughout the next year. Uh, but the second largest species of rodent in the world. And what do they eat? What are you all feeding them in here? So in their natural environment, they're going to eat twigs and leaves and the bark off trees. Uh, but here at the aquarium, we feed them uh, natural browse as they would in, in the wild. But we, they also get sweet potato, carrots, Brussels sprouts, uh, a little bit of fruit. All the good stuff. Stuff, huh? What makes uh, uh, beavers particularly fascinating? Everybody associates it with their lodge, of course. Yes. And some people call their dams that they build on water. Uh, but what is kind of fascinating about the species? Yeah, so beavers are uh, kind of recognizable. They're found all throughout pop culture, but they're a pretty elusive animal. Uh, not a lot is known about them in the general public. So we're hoping to have them here as ambassadors for their species so people can learn about them. Uh, they are engineers for the environment. They make incredible structures. They create ecosystems and biodiversity and marshes. Um, so we're really excited to show that off here at the aquarium. Now we we have the Beaver Brothers in Mississippi, so if I were to think of a name for the Beaver Brothers, I don't know what I'd come up with. What'd you all come up with? So we wanted to name them after some iconic uh, musicians here that came from Mississippi. So they are named after Elvis Presley and B.B. King. So we have Elvis, B.B., and King. What do you enjoy, Diana, about working not only with these uh, animals, but just in general here at the aquarium? It's so fantastic. So we really enjoy building our bonds with these animals. We create uh, relationships and trust bonds with them. As you can see, they're being fed right behind me here. So we are going to be part of their family here. Beavers are very family oriented, um, and they start to see us as part of that family. So that's a really special thing. I know I can speak for myself and for a lot of our animal care specialists. Here. And Finally, I know they just arrived, but still we saw a crowd of people, kids, how are people reacting? People love them. They are so adorable. And to see a beaver up close, because again, they are pretty elusive animals, to see, see them up close and do all the things that they naturally do is really special. But people are just falling in love with them every day.